This old Mac OS 11 big shirt on a memory stick. First go ahead and get yourself a 16GB memory stick and an adapter if you use a newer Mac. Plug it into your computer and open Disk Utility. Find your memory stick and delete it with the following parameters. I want you to call it beta with a lowercase b. The file system should be Mac OS extended. When your memory stick is finished deleting, close Disk Utility and open the terminal. Now make sure your Mac OS the installation file is in the application folder. If you don't have downloaded it yet, download Apple's access tool for Mac OS 11 beta down in the description below. After your download is completed, copy and paste the text in the description. Now most memory sticks are pretty slow, so be patient because this process will take a lot of time. When asked for a password, type in your normal login password and hit enter. You will get a process bar in the terminal showing you every 10% finished. When the terminal process is finished, you can go to Finder and eject the memory stick called Install Mac OS Beta. The flash drive is now ready to be put in into any Mac that support Mac OS 11. Now, if you want to use it on a computer that uses a T2 chip, start your Mac by holding down Command R. This will send your Mac into recovery mode where you turn off some of the security features on the T2 chip. Type in your normal user password. You have to deactivate this setting so you are allowed to boot from your flash drive. Go to Utilities in the menu bar Startup Security Utility and verify with your password again. Choose the option called Allow Booting from External Media. Reboot with your memory stick in and hold on Alt to boot from it. When you get into the recovery tool, enter your password again. Now open this utility and create a new partition. Press Add Volume. I call my partition beta, but you can call it whatever you want. Now after the new volume is created, continue with the installation process by choosing your new volume as the destination for the installation. When Mac OS 11 boots up for the first time, you met with a familiar setup where you can configure your Apple ID, Touch ID, Siri and more. I have so many things I love about this new OS. Everything from the login screen to the widgets feels new and exciting and yet familiar to the whole of the ecosystem. Comment in the description below what Mac you are using and your favorite new features. With the squared icons, the Mac now looks more like an iPad and I really think that's a good thing to get more users over to Mac OS. The redesigned control center is also simple and touch friendly if you use an iPad as an external monitor. If you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing as I need 1000 subscribers to earn any revenue from YouTube. And check out my other videos out here.